Hello and uh, welcome back. Guys, I have a little confession. I was wrong. Well, it happens uh, a little bit more <laughs> than ever. Uh, the t-shirt was right, by the way. I don't even know what I'm doing. Uh, there was a, I did a review about this little signal generator and it's actually if you look at the specs, it is a very nice uh, sig uh, RF signal generator and it's great to, to adjust your receiver. And uh, it goes from uh, 500k up to uh, 470. And when I tested it, well, it arrived already damaged. And I did a quick test and my conclusion was the device is broken. But it is not and there was a viewer that uh, notified me that and it was actually on the odc i have a copy of my channel automatically all the videos i upload goes automatically to the odc and um, yeah there was actually one viewer who said and uh, it must have looked at in detail because they look at the spectrum analyzer and they said well your noise your noise floor is already at minus 70 db so how are you even gonna see a minus 70 db signal of your generator and even uh, put some uh, instructions maybe switch off your attenuators uh, uh, switch on your preamp so i quickly did uh, did the test and i'm actually a little bit ashamed but it's also all these special settings i i never read the manual of course and probably not the only one and uh, so um, i changed those settings my noise noise floor immediately went to minus 110 db and i could see a signal well it's still weird that the word is peaks of course uh, that we saw on 500 megahertz and on 239 but that well, it is a cheap generator so i don't know where it comes from but if you focus on the signal that it should do um, it seems to work so let's have a closer look well we do see a lot of uh, signals and uh, the signal that we are looking at is actually this signal here at 300 megahertz but here we still have this uh, signal on uh, on 240 megahertz and but if you change the span a bit like 100 megahertz then we really start to focus on the signal that we want to see and uh, let me see if i can yeah it, it actually says now it is exactly 300 megahertz and it is minus 68.7 so that is pretty close to the 70 db minus 70 dbm that we actually looking at so in that case it's not even bad it's almost spot on because if i switch it now over to the Maconi, will it change a lot uh, oh this one now the Maconi is really minus 70.2 and you also see a little bit extra signals around it so in that sense but you also see it now already so it is actually not bad so what if we change a little bit i'm still in the frequency i will do uh, 301 uh, we should see it move yes it moved is it still exactly 301 so i changed my span now to uh, 25 megahertz and uh, now we are on 301.1 uh, and it seems to be accurate and it's still saying around minus uh, 70 so what if we change it now let me see i think let's do minus 100 let's see if that is accurate it actually is but then it becomes very difficult for my uh, spectrum analyzer to notice it but we are more or less here and it does indeed say it's minus 100 so we are really in the low signals here 
but if we put the auto tune, we probably lose it again. Yes, we are again on the wrong signal. So it does have some stronger signals that are unwanted. Um, but does it make it that's why uh, useless? So let's have a look. I will have uh, here my CB set. I will change the camera. I will quickly uh, set this up and then change to this RF generator and see if we indeed can do the same as we can do with the Marconi. So I have the CB connected. The Marconi is in transmit mode. We cannot do that with this set. This is an RF generator only. If you put transmit power in this one, it will break. So don't do that. Um, so, but I will do that to set my receive test because I'm a bit of lazy typing. 27.205. That is the frequency we are transmitting because we are on channel 20. And the uh, RX TX. So if I go now to RX mode, I will switch on. We are now in minus 100 dB. So let's go to minus 70, but we already here. That is probably quite loud. Um, so if I go to the level and I go more down. So you can see when we are around minus 120, it starts to go down and 70 is really quite loud. So around minus 70 dB. Oh. Then uh, we are here around between 5 and 7 on the meter. So let's switch over to this one. So I need to set the frequency 0 to 7 to oh, 5. Oh, that's wrong. 0 to 7. Oh, five, zero, five. Okay. And we hear indeed a sound. It is between the five and the seven, but the audio is very high, so that's probably this one here. Uh, I think with F1 we can switch. Let me put it lower. So we have the same tone. It is quite loud. Um, let's go back to the, I think it was minus 100, minus 110, right? So we need to go, no, that's the frequency. Here we go. Can you see already the signal dropping? Yeah. So this is indeed very useful to adjust your receiver. More, 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 more power, more power. Here we go. So then you just set it to this level, a little bit low. You start adjusting. And yeah, you just try to get it as high as possible. Cool, that actually works. So yeah, 120. Okay, is that the same? Yeah, more or less the same, 120. Cool, this is actually a useful generator. So this generator actually works and it's not bad. Uh, it does have signals on the output that are unwanted, but they are so far away from the frequency that you are actually trying to measure that it uh, turns out not to be a problem as we could see uh, with the CB uh, kit. So uh, I don't know, they are between 70 and uh, between 70 and one, 100, I think, uh, dollars. So in that sense, it's actually quite nice alternative for the expensive Marconi or HP or other signal uh, RF generators that uh, are around. So if you are on a budget, 
it doesn't seem weird. It doesn't seem bad. And uh, as you could hear in the manual, it says only only 800k is the proper uh, audio tone that you can do. Turns out it's already newer firmware. As you could uh, see, you can already do 1k, 2k, and 3k. And uh, it's only FM, um, but it even can do sub audio, and I didn't play with that. I don't have a sub audio here. Yeah, maybe my cam boot can do that. Maybe that's for another time. It's empty also, I see. Um, so sub audio should be able to work with this. So thank you, uh, Lisetta from uh, Odyssey, for uh, correcting me. And uh, for you, you have now an alternative. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.